If you have ever searched for an inexpensive UV diode laser, a spectrometer, or both, you may notice this item. It was popular on eBay a few years ago and I got mine back in early 2018. I was trying to make a digital spectrometer system that could save the spectrum as a plot. It basically consists of a diode laser which outputs a UV laser via frequency doubling. It also has a beam splitter module that works as a receptor and emitter at the same time. When I finally wanted to use it as a spectrometer, I noticed that the spectrum is absolutely wrong. No matter what kind of light source I put on to measure, it always ranges from 600 nanometers to 900 nanometers. I then determined there will be an issue with the optical bench, so I removed the spectrometer module and opened it up. The optical bench is installed inside the black box, which is enclosed by four hex bolts. I thought this a pretty sophisticated system and I really didn't want to accidentally break any of the optics. A light source is transmitted by the collimator through a fiber optics cable. The collimated light is then reflected by the mirror on the opposite end so that the light hits the gratings mirror. The decomposed lights are then reflected once again and the lights finally hit the linear CCD sensor module. When I tried to initially test it out using fiber optics and the receptor module, I noticed that these two black slits are blocking the rest of the CCD sensor. I really don't understand why they would do this unless they wanted a very specific spectrum, but ultimately this isn't what I wanted and I assume that this exposed region is the 600 nanometer to 900 nanometer regions. To fix this, I simply remove the shields by using a pair of pliers. Now the sensor has the full range of reception, and a green laser light almost hits the center of the sensor, which I think was the 520 nanometer point before my calibration. Then, when I tested it with a white light using a cell phone flashlight to check the full spectrum of visible lights, we can see that the spectrum covers the whole sensor region, but it's shifted towards the right. To fix this, I reorientated the final stage mirror by rotating the mirror counterclockwise. I then tested it again using the white light, and we can see the broadband is centered compared to the previous setup. After that, I closed the spectrometer and tested the system. This is a blue LED, and this time it displays the entire visible range, but the peak wavelength was off, which was supposed to be about 450 nanometers. I ran a test again using the yellow LED, and it does make sense since it is shifted towards the right, but the peak wavelength was off again. So I opened up the spectrometer and adjusted the mirror again and tested it. I did not show the second calibration since it was just another slight rotation of the mirror, but when I tested it afterwards using a green laser, it displays the correct wavelengths with a peak of 520 nanometers. This is the spectrum of a UV flashlight, and it has a peak of about 400 nanometers, which is about right. Finally, this one is the white light from a cell phone, and this one also agrees to the known spectrum peaks. In case you need this to calibrate your own spectrometer, here is my improved hydrogen emission spectrum data.